Hi guys and welcome to another one of my unboxing videos. Well, this time around I've got something really special. It's the Porsche Design Ultra Book, I believe it's called. So here we go before any further ado. I must say a big shout out to the guys at Porsche Design in Brompton Road. That's the official Porsche Design store. Excellent service as usual and these guys just make things happen. So yes, it's called the Porsche Design Ultra One in silver and this is the i7 version with the one terabyte hard drive so that's what the box looks like here um here we go just rip it which way do i rip this now um, okay i think there's a little cut in there it's quite sealed nicely actually there we go if you're anything like me, I like doing this thing perfectly. So, boom. So yeah, PD Ultra One Silver UK keyboard. Oh, a little damage on there. Put the knife away. But there we go. So this is the Porsche design, and this slides out, I guess. That's an empty box. Keep that here for now that there and then oh there's a little impact there I'm just noticing it but yeah so obviously Porsche design there and then here you've got the serial number and all that stuff which I don't really need to show you guys Windows 10 engineered by Porsche design in Germany so we flip the flap so this is a Porsche design thing you flip the flap like that and um, yeah you guys see it before I see it okay boom so it's a Nice box actually, and it comes in a nice velvety style sort of sleeve. Wow, okay, you know what? I'm gonna actually get you all super curious. So we leave it out, we leave it in here, put down the table. Um, what else do we have? So this comes out, and then you get some instructions here, I'll keep that there. Um, get um, in another okay you get the adapter I was covering the adapter and I think that's about it that's um I don't know why I was expecting more items inside um this doesn't come out nothing comes out but that's what it looks like inside um, this is where the adapter was. I'll show you what it looks like again. And those little foam to protect it there. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so I can keep this down for now. Um, pretty cool. Comes with a super fast charger, I guess. This is a USB Type C. Um, output um, 5 watts, 12 watts, and 20 watts. 60 well, volts, rather. Sorry, 5 volts, 12 volts. 20 volts, um, 60 watts max. USB Type C, very similar to the previous model with the whole magnetic thing there. Okay, so I'll keep that here for now. You get some booklets. What do we have in here? Um, Porsche Design Computing, Quick Start Guide, and I think Safety and Legal Information. Quick Start Guide in English because that's what I speak. Um, Ultra One. I like the name Ultra One. Hmm. Now I'm thinking stuff. In the UK, I really want to get the new Porsche design phones, but um, they're just not available. So here we go, guys. So the sleeve. Boom. This is the beautiful laptop. It is super sleek. I must say, on first glance, though, I seem to see some dents there. Can you see the reflection on the the recording? I don't know if it's how maybe we hit. I don't know. Yeah, there's also a sort of dent there. That's interesting. Hmm. Another dent there. Well, is that how they are? But anyway, so what's unique with this laptop is it's super super slim. All the ports are at the back here. Um, you got ex you actually have a HDMI port as well, SD card two SSD USB USB sort of ports here and uh, micro USB C okay I don't get this because there's actually like a 
scratch here as well. No, okay, it's not a scratch, it's just some maybe the thing in there rubbing off on there. But anyway. Um yeah, so let's open it. At the bottom you just have the engineered by Porsche design sort of engraved. It's a it's a nice feel. A lot bigger than the other one. That's the previous model, the notebook one. And what I'll do is actually before opening this, I'll show you what the previous model looked like. That's the previous version. And this you know this one is actually really sick. I'll tell you why in a minute. And this is the new one. This is the new one. And that's the the newer model rather, and that's the um previous model. So I'll keep this down for now. And this opens up like that. The screen is beautiful, guys. It's 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 bigger, and you get this to protect the screen from the keyboard. It's a lot bigger, a bigger, bigger sort of mouse pad. Just show you what it looks like this way. A bigger mouse pad. It's got a fingerprint, um, i7. And what are the other specifications now? Um, well, I know it's i7, um, one terabyte. Yeah, pretty impressive stuff. Um, you, um, Harman Kardon sound. Um, beautiful screen. It's super fast. You can use the whole the whole cotton. I think so. Speak to Microsoft. Oh, it says here um, Core i7 eighth generation. So the previous model didn't have any stickers on it. Um, and this one is literally just like a laptop. So unlike the other model, it doesn't actually go any further. So it's like a, just a normal laptop. And I'm a little bit disappointed about that because the previous model, however, was super, super slick in terms of some functionality. I'll just put this here and shut this. So for instance, in the old model, it came with a pen. This one has no pen. I will check if it actually works with the new one. Um, the previous model as well, I'll show you some pretty cool things has like obviously an inbuilt keyboard the screen but you can actually even fold it all the way around impressive and it turns into a notepad it's actually a lot cooler as well if i roll this back down you can actually eject the the keep the, the screen and it's a lighter tablet so i don't know why this new version in my opinion is just very simple maybe I don't know, maybe they're just trying to I mean, but although the cost of this one is actually a lot more than this one, so maybe that's why they thought, let's just not go overboard, let's just do bare minimum. And, um, yeah. Um, the same sort of prints, the Porsche design, but this one's actually a lot more sort of embossed. It's in there. Um, I don't get the little dents, though. Sort of strange. Mm. Anyway, I guess that's about it, but, um... Yeah, so I really got a case for it as well because, um, well, you need these things, you know. And the guys at Porsche Design in Brompton Road were awesome. They actually sort of hooked me up, more or less. So, um, here we go. I recommend you always get to sleep for these new laptops because scratching and whatnot can be really painful. So, this is the silver one I went for. Take this out. So, this is called the Roadstar 4.1. Um, it's got foam in there, it's got a compartment for adapters and whatnot, and the laptop fits in nicely. It was literally made for this laptop, guys. And you have the big baby in there. Um, what's inside? There's a little ball as well. Yeah. Um, more foam, more paper. I really think they need to cut down on all this, it's not environmentally friendly. Um, this is the card, it's actually got a. I'll show you, it's actually quite nice. It's got this whole thing, NFC, anti... I don't know why you call these things, but you know those things that prevent people from reading your cards. This is the guarantee, pen holders, cable, tidy. Um, there's some leather in there. It's pretty nice, actually. Yeah, I didn't notice all this in the store. And that's it, guys. So, yeah, thanks for watching. This is the new Posh Design Ultra Note, Ultra One, Ultra Note. Um, can't remember, but yeah. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying it out and I'll let you know what I think. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, let me know if you have any questions. And I'll